Okay. Um, first of all, I do want to apologize that my quality is not up to par. Uh, but the message is way bigger than, um, you know, quality of a video, whatever the case may be. There is a drug out here called Ozempic, and it's used for uh, people with diabetes. Um, my mother has always struggled with her diabetes, but she lost weight on her own um, naturally, and she got her sugar together. She did start um, drinking, which messed with her, her sugar. You know, all she had to do was stop drinking so much. So, cause you know, there's a lot of sugar and alcohol. Long story short, my doc, my mother's doctor, um, by the way, my mother is a veteran and she does have her health um, looked after at the VA Medical Center. So her doctor of over 20 years, Dr. Mabuti at the West Palm Beach VA Medical Center um, she used to be an amazing doctor, full of integrity. Now, as she's gotten older, it seems like everybody in the healthcare after COVID is just doing it for the money. So, I don't know if you all know how, like, healthcare or, like, drug companies work, but I was a medical assistant for over five years. Um, when new medications or drug pharmaceuticals make a new medicine they have these rep these pharmaceutical reps they go out and they scout doctors and doctors offices and they give them free samples of this new medicine have your patients try it blah 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 and they actually some reps will go out their way to buy lunch for the entire office just to give out samples and, you know, really push this medicine. Yeah, you may per prescribe Tylenol, but go ahead and prescribe these perk 30s. You know what I mean? And the doctors do get an incentive for, you know, getting a patient prescribed on that certain medication that they're pushing. And, you know, the incentives do keep reoccurring as they refill um, the medication for the patient. So, Ozempic, uh, my mom was prescribed Ozempic, and um, she didn't take it at first. Uh, let me just give you a little background. My mom was diagnosed with TTP. It is a rare blood disease and um, it attacked her white blood cells. So um, one of the symptoms was she did have, you know, a lot of abdominal pain and they did have to take out her gallbladder. So my mom doesn't have a gallbladder and um, she, we're real careful about sticking her in the stomach. And Ozempic was one of those medications. So she did not, um, you know, she was reluctant to take Ozempic due to the sticking in the stomach. So um, she would take it for a month. She had stopped drinking and she was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do what my doctor says. We're just gonna start taking the medication, see what it does for me. Um, I would say after a week or two, my mom had no energy. She was complaining of severe abdominal cramps. She could not keep any food down. Um, she was pale, she was dehydrated, she was losing weight rapidly. And um, I took my mother to the hospital three times. And all three times, she had an endoscopy done and everything. The gastro checked her out. All three times, they sent her home. Clueless, not knowing what to do. It just so happened that my mom was looking at the news. She's retired. So she's she's a retired vet, 100% disabled vet. She was watching the news and she just so happened to see other women sharing their stories. Mind you, I was say, I was telling my mom, I think it's the Ozempic. The doctor, when the doctors did the endoscopy, they found that her 
um, pancreas was inflamed. It was irritated. So they prescribed her medication to coat her stomach, you know, to keep down the foods. They didn't really, you know, do anything. First, they thought it was a flu and they gave her antibiotics and a Z pack. Anyways, this video, please, I need awareness that I'm starting a class action lawsuit. Um, my mom's already 100% disabled with that. And um, she lost so much quality of life and she she's already she's 62 she's already up in age and ozempic almost killed my mom and um we're we have a very small family and my mom is all we have please please if anybody knows who we can reach out to we have already started um reaching out to lawyers we're willing to pay you know, for like a top-notch lawyer, we need justice, and and this needs to be in a in a court. We're suing. We're suing the fuck out of everybody. My mom still isn't herself. She's and mind you, my mom retired so she can take care of my grandmother who has dementia. I am the only one, I'm 26 years old. I don't have no kids. And I really had to step up and care for the both of my mother and my, my grandmother. And my mom told my doctor that this medicine, she can't take it no more. Please don't prescribe this medication for me. And Dr. Mabuti at the VA Medical Center in West Palm Beach, you ignore my mother's cries. My mother is a veteran, so she also deals with PTSD. They tried to write her off as mentally crazy. They tried to say, oh, she looks depressed. She's weak. She doesn't have no energy. We need justice. We need to kick out these toxic people in our healthcare systems. They're not helping. They're billing your insurance company. God forbid you have an amazing health care insurance plan. They will bill the fuck out of that insurance plan. Please get your insurance statements and go over everything. Make sure your insurance statements matches up with every single appointment you've ever went to. Not ever made because sometimes you could cancel those appointments ever went to and completed I'm in South Florida I'm in West Palm Beach the Lake Worth area um, we have the money to sue but it's not about the money it's about who you know and we need to get this out please help spread the word about Ozempic. It's not a trend. It's killing regular people. It's killing your mothers, your, your daughters, your brother, your fathers. Please. Okay.